So there is a big myth in the golf swing that is still very much alive and well, but will absolutely, if you adhere to it, destroy your ability to be able to hit a good golf shot and develop a good golf swing. If we do the opposite to this myth, we're gonna hit better iron shots, better driver shots, further drivers, more compressed irons. We're gonna to wanna to do it. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So recently I put up an Instagram post, a 15 second post there, talking about what this does here, the head. It was a tip, little quick tip, to get people to rotate a little bit more of their chest through impact if you struggle with it. Where it was, if you're trying to keep that head looking down, the eyes looking down at that ball post impact, you're gonna struggle with your chest rotation. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, you're gonna to wanna to swivel that head going through the golf ball, that's gonna give you a little bit more rotation just like you could see from that slow-mo there. And me as a coach, very much thought that this is a myth that a lot of people know is not true. You don't wanna keep your eyes down on the golf ball. You wanna, if you're struggling with your rotation, have a little head swivel, it will help you. But looking down on those Instagram comments, the myth is very alive and well. I've never had a post where I've had so many people, high handicappers of course, tell me that that's the worst advice they've ever seen. So. Very funny here because that movement of keeping the eyes down, which ironically is only given from high handicapper to high handicapper. It's never given from pro to high handicapper. And then thinking a professional, it's their entire job to teach the golf swing is wrong. So let's dive into this topic a little bit more and how doing the opposite here, swiveling that head, it's gonna help you with your golf way more. So let's destroy this myth here because this myth needs to stop because it is absolutely destroying golfers' abilities to be able to get into a respectable handicap. So as we know, like we said at the beginning, this myth is keeping those eyes down on that ground, post impact or that saying, keeping your eye on the golf ball. Now, ultimately, like we said, what that's gonna do, that's gonna slow down your body's ability to rotate, especially with the chest. So if you're keeping your eyes down, we swing at a golf club at quite a high speed. It's a very high speed sport of swinging that golf club. If we're doing that, that's gonna slow down our movement because us trying to keep that head there, post impact, it's gonna slow down all this dynamic movement. It's gonna create a lot of tension, which if our rotation is stopping, we're gonna have a very active movement with the club head. We're gonna be losing potential speed by not prioritizing and getting good rotational torquing in there. Our striking is gonna be terrible. We're gonna get this kind of awful looking chicken wing look because we're not turning and extending through the golf shot because we're too afraid of taking our eye off the ball because Dave, 25 handicap, said that was the reason why I topped the golf ball. So I urge you guys, stop listening to Dave and start listening to professionals about this. No self-respecting professional will tell a student, at least I hope, to keep the eyes down for as long as possible. They might not all say to swivel your eyes down, but you'll see a lot of modern golf instructors are saying that because it can make some massive gains into your golf swing. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about, right, if I swivel my head to where it's doing this, going through the golf ball, looking down that target line, it's gonna help me rotate a little bit easier. So rotation is something so many golfers struggle with. So why would you do something that inhibits it even more just because your high handicap friend told you not to do it? Remember they're high handicap for a reason. Pros are a pro for a reason. They know more than the high handicaps and are better golfers. So listen to your pro. You go ask them about keeping the head down or keeping the eyes on the golf ball. They'll tell you, oh, it's rubbish. So. Look down that target line, what that's gonna do. We're swinging again, a golf club at a high speed. If that head starts to look and swivel and look down that target line, just like David Duvall going through that golf ball, what's attached to the head? The neck, what's attached to the neck? Shoulders, what's right near the shoulders? The chest. So if you do this at high speed, what's gonna move with it? The chest and the shoulders. So you're gonna get more chest rotation. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? So. If we can do that, like we said, this is gonna help you compress your irons massively. More rotation, we know what happens from rotation. Shaft lean gets encouraged. So you're gonna be putting more pressure on that golf ball, deal off from that club. You might hit it a little bit further as well. So again, why is this not you know, exciting all you watching this? But two, so I've got a driver. So imagine my iron, here's a driver. Ball position forward, 
Let's say I'm having good left side extension at the right time. My right side's dropping at the appropriate time. And if I'm turning my head swivel lip before I get to impact, I'm increasing my rotational torque going through impact. I'm not dumping my speed late. So I'm getting more out of my driver. Awesome. Why would I not want to do that? So we might see a lot of pros out there who don't do it. Me in my normal golf swing, I don't necessarily do it. But if you're struggling with the rotation of your chest going through there, no matter what you do, you cannot get that chest to turn. It's a movement that will have no negative effects on your golf swing other than positive. Let's say for here, for me, I'm going to hit one with kind of like more of my normal swing here. So my head would be down post impact. Here's the difference. I'm not trying to do it. I'm not trying to do it. Not everything you see a pro do are they trying to do. Golf swing is a massive dynamic movement. It's one fluid movement. You can't possibly be doing everything that's happening in the golf swing. You really, I'll give you a secret here. I'm thinking of practically almost nothing with my golf swing when I hit this shot. My, mostly anything, my main swing thought is to keep myself centered on there. I'm going to be doing a lot more than that though, as you're going to see from there. But of course, I've done a lot of practice over my years so I can get, put a good swing on it. Let's do a normal one. So you can see from the slow-mo, I was looking down at the ground a little bit before impact, or after impact, so I was, I was looking a little bit down. Wasn't trying to do it though, because if I was trying to do it, I'll be tense, chicken wing, no rotation. So let's do that, and then we're gonna do the other one as well. So let's keep those eyes down. So you can see there, massive difference between the last and there. I was trying on that second one there to keep that head down. And now this one here, let's look down that target line before I hit it. Now, two of those swings looked really good, didn't they? One of them looked terrible. That's because that other one, the terrible one, like I said, I was trying to keep my eyes down on the ground. Don't do it. Now, I know why a lot of golfers might be trying to do this because they're confusing what this is. So let me grab a ball and we'll talk about it a little bit more there. So. What golfers are thinking this keeping the eye down meaning is that they're not going to be coming out of posture. But for a lot of golfers out there, it does get very lost in translation because of what the terminology people are saying about this. Now, if you take your eye off the ball in this manner, that's you extending the spine coming out of posture. Yes. What is that going to do? That's going to do that. You're going to top the golf ball, of course. So what we want to be doing, we want to be staying in our posture, of course. But taking your eye off the ball in this manner will not cause you to come out of your posture. Now you've got to remember, I'll put a video up here. Coming out of your posture, there's things happening in your golf swing that are causing you to do that. Doing this movement pattern will not do it. Why that is, because there's different muscles at work to extend the body versus rotating the body. So if you try to swivel that head, it is massively, massively unlikely that you'll come out of posture as a result. If you are, something else is happening in your golf swing. So doing this, if anything, is gonna make me stay in my posture. Because if I'm rotating quite nicely going through impact, we're having good side bends going in there. My right side is going to be bending down in this nice crunch position, the skipping the stone movement. I'm going to be in better posture. Where if I'm here, keeping my head and eyes down, what's going to have to hit the golf ball if I'm not turning through in this fashion? The right arm will have to straighten. The right arm straightens. I'm coming out of posture. So ironically, the keeping your eye down actually makes them go up as well, because you have to extend your right arm to hit the golf ball. If you're not rotating through, someone's got to hit it. Your right arm will have to extend to do it. So, very much so. Get your body turning through the golf ball. Like we said, this is not going to be something that's going to damage your golf swing one bit. It really isn't. It's, for golf coaches, it's a very comical thing. We all do have a good joke about it, of how it's something that amateur golfers just will not. They won't let it go. They really won't. That's the funny part about it is this is something that has just been drummed into by friends for so long. That's a video that's coming up soon. Don't listen to your friend. It's going to be a funny one. And for some reason, even though every pro now does not say, it just says, don't do that advice. It's like high handicappers are saying, OK, I need to keep my head down. I'm looking at it. I've, I've given a lesson once where we've talked about a load of things, nothing about keeping the eye down. And when we were talking about the conclusion of the lesson afterwards, wrapping it up, the student said, so I need to keep my eye more down then. And be, being serious. I was like, 
excuse me, <laughs> didn't talk about it once, but it is so in the heads of golfers. I know my one video won't stop it. It won't stop it unless it gets a million views, which it won't. But even that wouldn't, wouldn't stop this myth. But it is just quite comical. Everything of looking down at target line like Henrik, Henrik Stenson, David Duvall, and a Kasurum style will help you hit that ball nicely. Compress the ball, more rotation. Why would you not want to do it? I like the feeling if you're going to do this as you're coming through just before impact, swivel that head. I could generally do it, it will improve me. Look at that. Nice shot. Hit that so good, another ball just tried to come back and hit me because it was so powerful. <laughs> so, ultimately, guys, if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So, obviously what's the tip in this video? You certainly can look down that target line. So it's a half tip, half rant video. I just couldn't believe it. The amount of negative comments I had on something that no pro is ever telling a player to do. So listen to your pro, don't listen to your friend Dave off a 25 handicap. So. Let's swivel that head. Don't try to keep those eyes down. You're going to play better golf.